I wanted to use this chance while I'm stuck here in traffic and uh, forgive me for the reflection thing uh, to talk about a really cool subject um, which you may hear sometimes and the subject is that when you have an opinion like a strong opinion about, about something you also want to have a very good knowledge of your opponent's opinion about the exact opposite opinion to yours so for example i'm very pro conservatism pro capitalism while for example i detest i hate the postmodernist movement that basically says that since nothing has supposedly any value that means that nothing has real value and everything is arbitrary so all value is um, completely subjective and therefore all opinions are an attempt to get power over someone so there's no facts only opinions and again sounds absurd but many 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 people believe it so I have taken upon me to actually study postmodernism and that starts with Marxism and the rational logical mostly illogical but 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 the basically how a person gets to believe in that because until you have a a way of uh, kind of viewing things where you can see your opponent's position and actually see how it makes sense from his perspective you're not really uh, mature you're not really logically you know, you're not wise at that point and true wisdom actually comes when you are able to look at the other side's point of view and actually argue for them better than they argue for themselves so once you're able to articulate your opponent's view better than they can articulate it themselves that means that they have you have their attention so now you can say okay so this is how you reach that conclusion and because this and this and this means that and this is how you know it and they're like uh-huh uh -huh. they actually like completely understand and now you can actually bridge the gap and teach people something new because you can't just override people's beliefs by saying you're wrong, I'm right, while you're completely coming from a, again, from a completely different um, frame of mind or different state of thinking. So one person might say that um, it's, it's best to be a very nice person that never offends anyone and that's their position so their position is never offend me because it's not nice to offend people while you might be very disagreeable and think it's actually very good sometimes to offend people it's very good to make them feel bad sometimes because that's where growth comes from or that's an important virtue because you can actually defend yourself because somebody who's too agreeable he's so worried of offending others that he won't even uh, stand up for himself and unless you can bridge those two positions unless you can actually fight for your opponent better than they can fight for themselves you're not actually doing a debate a real debate it's most where you're actually trying to convince the other person it's mostly you trying to demolish their position but the ways you do it will be only only sound good to people who are already supporting your position or already inclined to your position so basically half the population most of the time won't get you because you're speaking a completely different language you're not able to speak their language and even on an even deeper implication by you actually having the the wisdom and the patience to look at the other side that you completely disagree with and actually dig deep enough until you find how it could actually reach how, the, how it could actually happen that you would trust that uh, position meaning 
why that position could actually mean something for you until the point where you actually did that type of investigation you're not really the kind of person that represents truth you're more like the person that represents their side in truth and by being able to look at the other person's position you're developing extremely deep roots in yourself so the confidence in yourself to navigate in through the world in the right manner now there's always the fear that if you navigate too much in other people's opinions maybe you'll get sucked up into them and that's where the whole logical integrity and honesty comes in where I talked about this in the previous video about the journey and taking the 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 call basically answering the call to adventure that when you do such a thing when you venture into the unknown and instead of a f strengthening your position you actually check out your opponent's position when you do that you're venturing into the unknown and it's dangerous it's really really dangerous because there's that fear and it's real that you might actually become one of them so you actually stare into the abyss as Nietzsche said, and you can become one of the monsters in the abyss if you stare long enough into it. That's where the strength comes from, and that's where the solidity comes from. It's from going into those places where you, for a short time, completely adopt your opponent's position. So somebody you completely disagree with, you choose to look at things from their perspective for a while, for a while and now you can actually call yourself wise. So until that point, you're intelligent, because maybe you can debate really well, but you only become wise when you know both sides, because the wise person is he's like a balance scale. He, can, he always looks at things with both, from both sides. And that's, that sort of hedging, where you're able to see things from both perspectives, rather than just yours, that hedging is actually the greatest courage that you can have because again it means that you're comfortable with being outside of the known and and venturing into the unknown so with the uh, traffic con congestion clearing up I'll have to cut this video short I hope you got a lot of good um, value from it and let me know if you still have any questions or anything you'd like me to further expand upon on this topic so thanks for watching and till next time